Hi guys, welcome back. In this exercise, I'm going to show you how to load a text data from flat file into SAP BW. Open your BW system. If you take a previous example, which we have loaded a master data from the flat file, go to the data source. You can observe here. This is a one data source we have, which we have created for master data. Now go to info provider. Check your info provider. Here, under salesman ID, I have only attributes data target. The reason because we have selected only attributes to load the data. Now, in this example, we're going to select with the text to load the text data. So how to do that? For that, you need to select info objects. Double click on your primary info object. Click on edit, select with data or text or master data or text. Please observe here with text has been unchecked. So please check this button. Automatically you can observe the text table has been generated. Whatever the data you loading into a text, that text table will be stored under this technical name. So by default, it will be selected as short text. You need to select medium, long, depends on your requirement. If a requirement says only one option, you can select one. If a requirement says three, you have to select short text, medium text, long text. Then you have to select all these three options. For this example, I'm selecting all the three options. Now click on activate. You get an option here, the messaging screen, click on continue. Click on yes. Now it shows you're activated successfully. Now click on F3. Now go to info provider. You can click on refresh. or you can just select this one say refresh option this now you can observe the text target is displaying here so now the text target is ready for you so for that what we need to do we have to create a data source select your data source select your application component right click on it select create data source enter a technical name data source text the source system is going to be same the data type data source since we are loading master data text you have to select master data text option this is your type of data source click on continue you need to enter the description here master data text data source for SID 27 select copy paste it now go to extraction tab as we did a previous example directly go to the file name you need to point out where is your text file okay before that I'm going to show you how the text file look like click on start button open your Microsoft Excel Click on menu, open, go to desktop, flat files, it should open all your files here, click on all files. Now you can look for, this is my text file, open it, it shows this is how your text file format. So I have selected a language which is English and my primary info object which has to be there because with this primary info object only I'm going to enter the text for S salesman 1 this is going to be short medium long text for salesman 2 this is going to be the text so on it goes till salesman 10 
So once you create the data in the similar format, save your Microsoft Excel file as .csv, comma separator, then close this file. Now let's point out our flat file. Click on browse. Where is your text file? This is my text file. Click on open. It takes complete path of your flat file location. Now header rows to be ignored. One data format supposed to be separated with separator CSV and data separator should be comma. Once you've done this, click on proposal. As we discussed in a previous example, the proposal will show you only example data. It's not going to load the data. Click on load example. It is how the data look like in your flat file. Click on fields. Okay. Now you can map the fields here or you can map the fields at the time of transformation. Now let me show you how to map the fields here. You need to for language there is already predefined info object has been created by SAP. Let's use that one. It starts with the zero L-A-N-G-U. Press enter. Automatic will become L-A-N-G-U. SMID is your SID 27. Okay. Automatically the format has been changed. Now for the short text, it's supposed to be zero T-X-T S-H. This is a SAP predefined info object. Press enter. Automatically the format has been changed here. Please observe. MD text. It is 0txt md. Press enter. And long text. It's supposed to be 0txt lg. Press enter. Once you map the fields, go to preview tab. Before clicking on read preview data, let's activate this data source. Click on activate. You get the status message data source activated. Now click on read preview data. This is how your text file look like. The data look like exactly as per your text file. Once you've done this option, now your data source is ready and your data target is ready. So what we need to do, we need to create transformation. Go to your info provider, select your data target. This is a text, right click on it, create a transformation. Now the transformation is target of the transformation, your info object, SID 27, but it is going to be text type of data. The source is going to be data source. This is DS underscore T1 source system PC underscore 3. Once you've done this part, click on continue. Now observe the language has been mapped to language SID to SID, short text to short text, medium to medium, long to long. Once it is perfectly fine, click on activate. Now observe that the transformation has been created here. Click on back button. So now we need to create info package. So go to data source. Please observe still it shows a dot button. You need to click on refresh. Now you can see the arrow mark. Now it has your transformation. Okay. Now let's select your data source. Right click on it. Create info package. Enter a description of your info package. Info package for text data loading. Click on save. Directly go to schedule tab. As we already discussed about these two options in previous example, click on start. Now you can see the status bar. Data was requested. To check the data, go to monitor. Select your request. Click on PSA maintenance. Shows number of records. Click on continue. Now it will display how the data has been loaded into PSA.
now the data is available under PSA now we need to send this data to data target go back press back button still your info package in not active state click on refresh right click on your data source now we need to create DTP data transfer process to transfer the data from PSA to your data target click on DTP the DTP fields will be automatically filled up by the system this is your target of DTP is info object SMID that is your SID 27 the text data target a source is going to be your data source the technical name of your data source and source system click on continue select extraction tab extraction mode supposed to be full we already discussed about this in a previous example now click on execute tab execute button is not activate click on activate your DTP your execute button will be activated automatically see now click on execute button it says do you want to display the request monitor yes you can observe all the data loaded successfully click on data target administrator to check the data it is your load request ID number data is available for reporting number of records transfer 10 added 10 records select your data target click on contents click on execute now please observe the data is displaying your master data along with your text data because we map this text data with your salesman number when I map with the salesman number wherever I call the salesman number automatically the attributes will follow the salesman ID because these are all depended info objects of your salesman ID now you can see the full data of your salesman salesman master data along with attributes and with the text right see this is the names are mapping exactly Kiran Kiran Wamsi Kumar okay this is how you need to load the text data type into your BW system from the flat file thank you